Well, let's talk about using the SEMrush tool for finding keyword trends in a given niche. Now, if you don't already have SEMrush, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up for a trial and you can test all these features out and everything. But once you're signed up for SEMrush and you're logged into your account, basically the first thing you do is come to the search bar, which will be at the top of every page centrally, and just put in the keyword that you're wanting to get keyword trends data for. When you do that, you'll see that you'll be able to determine the difficulty of the keyword, the search volume, global search volume, the search volume broken down by country, the search intent, cost per click, competition rate, bunch of other stuff, as well as this trend here, this trend graph. And if you look, if you hover over this, this is over the last 12 months. So it is currently December. So around March, it seems like there is a bit of an influx of traffic, March, April, May, June, and then it sort of tail, tails off. And that's maybe, you know, people like in the new year, they're, March is when the weather starts to get nice, so they're getting in shape and trying to get the beach body going <laughs> for the summer, right? And knowing the search traffic trends will help you determine when it's most appropriate to advertise on a keyword. And there's another place we can look. If we scroll down to the very bottom here, we can see the uh, the keyword ad history. So how actively domains were bidding on the analyzed keyword over the last 12 months. That's what this is, right? And we can see that around March, April, May, basically in the summer, as well as in the winter months or the holidays, there is an in increase in the number of ads people are running on this term. So the more ads people are running, usually the more demand there is for a product or a service based on the keyword that we're looking at. So we can use both of those to help predict when people are going to uh, conduct a search using this term and likely buy something that we can sell them, right? Um, and then from there, we can determine, all right, maybe it's best if we just use organic and get ranked for this term because the traffic is pretty consistent month over month. Or maybe this is something that's really hits hard in the summer. So in the summer, we might want to run some ads and we can kind of see what the competitor's ads look like and see how much they're spending on those ads and everything, which ultimately helps us determine when we should be running ads for a given keyword, right? So that's pretty much it. I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of the keyword trends for specific keywords or anything like that, don't hesitate to reach out and just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? So that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade and one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm going to show you how to set up an SEO friendly business name right from the get go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> Best part is I'm going to show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably going to start charging for this at some point in the future. Alright, I'll see you on the other side.